Welcome to The Boss Experience, the podcast that helps professionals turn their expertise into an online coaching business that replaces their nine to five income. My name is Michelle Davis, and I'm your host. And in today's episode, I'm discussing creating messaging that attracts your ideal client. So you may be wondering, what does it even mean to create messaging that attracts your ideal client? How do you do it? Where do you start? Well, first off, let's talk about what effective messaging actually is. Effective messaging is your ability to speak to people whom you've never met in a way that makes them feel seen, heard, understood, and optimistic that you're the right coach to help them solve their problem. So many entrepreneurs make the mistake of believing that messaging is simply telling people what you have to offer and asking them to buy it before they know who they're talking to, what they're talking to them about, or telling people why anyone should listen to them in the first place. Before people can actually feel like they want to do business with you, You have to not just capture their attention, but you have to keep their attention. And the way to do that is by showing people through your messaging that you're the right coach or consultant for them. I'll give you an example. Let's say you're a financial coach and you're offering a masterclass on retirement planning. And so let's also say that there's a 50 year old woman that stumbles upon one of your posts promoting your masterclass on retirement planning. And she looks at it and it instantly appeals to her because she's thinking, I'm 50 years old. I don't have any retirement savings. I desperately need to attend this masterclass. But when she shows up to your masterclass, you're talking about everything from how to set up a 529 college savings plan. You're talking about wills and trusts and basically everything but what this person showed up to your masterclass to learn about. So not only will this woman leave your masterclass not doing business with you, but she'll also be upset that you wasted her time and she leaves that masterclass believing that you are not the expert to help her with her problem. The moral of the story is, yes, you filled the seat in your masterclass, but you didn't get the sale because of ineffective messaging. So where do you even begin when it comes to creating messaging that attracts your ideal client? Let me explain using my three-step process. The first step is know who you want to attract. And this just simply means knowing who it is that you want to work with and who best benefits from what you have to offer. When you think about your ideal client, it's not enough to say, I want to help women between the ages of 35 and 50 that have X, Y, Z issue. You have to dive deep into who your ideal client is and know what matters to them in relation to the problem that you solve. And you do this by creating a client avatar. And when you create a client avatar, you're actually thinking about your ideal client as the real person that they are, right? So you need to think of them not in terms of, you know, this age group and they have this issue, but you need to dig a little deeper into who they are and think of them in terms of, yes, age is important. Yes, gender is important. Where they're located is important. You know, where do they live? You know, what values uh, do they live by? Who are they following? Who are their biggest influencers? What are they paying attention to? Who has their attention online and offline? You know, what magazines are they reading? Because when you're thinking about what is going to matter to your ideal client, now as you create your messaging, these things are really, really important because remember, you want to speak to them in a way where they feel seen, heard, and understood. And so if you don't know what their life is like and who they are and what they value, your messaging will always miss the mark because you're talking to someone that you haven't clearly defined and you're wanting real people to connect with that message. And once you know who it is you want to attract, 
Creating messaging that captures their attention is so much easier. Okay, the next step in my three-step process is know what you're speaking to your ideal client about. Whether you're an online coach, consultant, or some other type of service provider, you're helping someone solve a problem. And people won't know what problem you solve until you create messaging that tells them. So before you can do that, you actually have to know what they're struggling with in relationship to the problem that you solve. Here are some ways to go about obtaining that information. The first way is you can ask them. Considering you're building a coaching or consulting business around your own expertise, at some point you've helped someone solve the same problem you're addressing in your business. So do you have access to the people you've helped in the past? And if so, reach out to them and have a conversation or ask them if you could send them a few questions over via email or text. Another way to obtain this information is by tapping into other people's audiences. And this is where you find people online that also work with your ideal client. And this can be your competitors, it could be people that you know, have services that align with what you do, but may not be exactly what you do. Then document what conversations are taking place, what questions are being asked, and make note of any common things that keep coming up that people are struggling with or that people say they want more information about. Then last but not least, use online tools like Answer Socrates, Uber Suggest, Answer the Public, and Google Trends to see specifically what questions people are asking in relation to the problem that you solve for people. And these tools capture data from all over the online space and they compile information that's going to give you insight on the questions that people are asking and how they're asking them. Once you know what your ideal client is struggling with and their pain points, you can create value-based content that answers their questions, that talks about the very things that they struggle with, and most importantly, you'll be able to show them that you are capable and competent enough to solve their problem. So now that you know who you're speaking to, you know what you're speaking to them about, it's time to let them know you're the right coach to solve their problem. When people come across your content, whether it's on social media, your website, or anywhere else you show up online, you can't assume that they understand that you're the expert that can help them solve their problem or that they even know who you are. So here's some key elements to incorporate in your messaging everywhere you show up online. The first is your personal story. Connecting your personal story to your mission enables you to build a deeper connection with prospective clients. And also your personal story is what makes you unique. So it helps you stand out among all the other online coaches. When people see in here your personal story and your connection to your mission, they can get a sense for why you are the expert that you are and why you're so passionate about helping people like them. The next thing you want to incorporate in your messaging is state what makes you an expert. Does your expertise stem from your career? Does it stem from lived experience or something else? So instead of generically referring to yourself as a life coach, a financial coach, a business coach, define one specific type of person you specialize in helping. This lets your ideal client know that you're the expert helping others with the same problem that they're struggling with. The next thing you want to incorporate in your messaging is a brief statement about who you help, how you help them, and what you help them achieve. And this way, when people approach you and they ask you what you do, you have a statement already in hand to speak to them and tell them exactly what you do. And you're not rattling on and on and on to the point where they walk away from you. And the next thing you want to do is have a call to action. And a call to action is simply a statement that tells people the next step you want them to take in your process. So it's important that you know what step you want people to take anytime they are on your website, anytime that they come across your content so that you can convey 
to your ideal client when they see you and show up online, what it is you want them to do. Do you want them to book an appointment? Do you want to want them to download a PDF? Do you want them to watch a video? What do you want them to do next after seeing your content? And you definitely don't want to assume they know what to do, but they need to know what action you want them to take so that you can take them to your next step in your process. So whatever the action is that you want them to take, tell them. Okay, so now that you know who you're attracting, you know what you're saying when you attract them, and you know how to let them know that you're the right coach to help them solve their problem, you have one more thing to do, and that's test and refine your message. So when you create your initial messaging as a new coach, it's not a one and done type of situation or process. You need to create your initial messaging and then you actually need to implement the messaging within your business. So whether you're running paid ads, you're uh, posting on social media, uh, you're building out your website, whatever it is, you incorporate everything you learned about in this video and then you get feedback from your ideal clients. So once you start connecting with people, once you start serving people in your coaching business, ask them, what was it about you that resonated with them? What prompted them to download your PDF? What motivated them to hop on a call with you? See what parts of your messaging works and what part doesn't so that you're constantly improving the messaging for your business. Creating effective messaging is one of many things I help my clients achieve. So if you want to learn how I can help you incorporate everything you learned in this video within your coaching or consulting business, head on over to CEOBlueprintAcademy.com. That's CEOBlueprintAcademy.com. You'll get access to my calendar and you'll also get access to a free video I created, which tells you three things that I implemented in my business that made the difference in my business and in my bank account. So that's CEO blueprint academy.com. So head over there now and get access to both my calendar and the free video. So with that being said, this wraps up this episode. So if you haven't already, make sure that you subscribe and you leave a review or a comment depending on where you're listening or watching this episode so that I can continue delivering you valuable content to help you turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income. New episodes of The Boss Experience are available every Tuesday. So I can't wait for you to tune in next week for another episode. Take care and be well.